Hello Aries, thank you for joining me. This is going to be a general energy bi-weekly reading for the first two weeks of July. I will be breaking down these readings by cusps along with period. So our first reading here is for Aries that were born March 19th through March 24th. If you were born March 19th through March 24th, you are a Cusper, you are, excuse me, you are a Pisces Aries Cusper. So let's find out what we have going on here for the first couple of weeks. We have the overall energy, opportunities, obstacles, finances, and love. Okay, so it does look like we might be <laughs> being a little tight with our money, Aries. And you will have the opportunity to open your purse strings a little bit, loosen them up and make a donation or help somebody out. You know, you've been keeping a hold of your money, keeping an eye on it, saving. And um, so that's really good. obstacle is yourself so the king of swords does represent represent a fire sign which of course is aries leo and sagittarius so i definitely see this this card representing yourselves now he is a logical guy and it looks like you have been doing well with your finances i'm just saying because we do have this fulfillment here the ten of cups and so that's really awesome to see and it looks like I'm seeing that in love, we've got somebody who perhaps is a little superficial that you've been hanging on to. And that, that's no bueno, of course. Um, being logical, I would say watch what people are asking you to spend your money on. Make sure you are choosing the correct charity, the, the right thing to help people out on. And in fact, you may be helping yourself out. So let's see if we can get a little bit more information here on this opportunity. Wow. So three more pentacles. Now, pentacles can represent an earth sign so perhaps you have a moon or rising sign that's an earth sign or you do have a mate that's an earth sign um, but I am seeing a lot to do with money here this could also represent that somebody is going to be generous to you that you have been down and out in your luck and that you just really need that that just that little push that a little bit of help here you know, that maybe you haven't been working hard to save your money. You know, I feel like some of you have, but out of, you know, the, these uh, Pisces, Aries, Cuspers, that a majority of you just really, perhaps you do have a drain in your love life and you really could use that boost of pay or that new relationship or that new position. And it does look like it is coming. I, you know, I'm feeling like, you're, you know, you don't want to be left out in the cold anymore. You're ready to move on. You've been, mm, you know, you're just kind of like, uh, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to do that. You've been indecisive and not really sure which direction that you want to go. So I do see you rounding out this week by more or less figuring out what you need um, to get a hold of your tired of being dependent on others, ha relying on other people's generosity. But I just feel like that one last gift, that one last extra push is really just going to help you guys 
get to where you need to be. So if you have been taking a lot of handouts, you definitely want to make sure you're paying that karma back, making sure that you're helping out the people that are helping you. Um, if you are getting a loan or if you have a loan and you haven't been making the payments, you want to turn that around. You want to fix that karma and you want to make sure that um, you are, you know, taking care of what you need to take and be taken care of. Uh, stop the overspending and find your fulfillment the right way. Find your fulfillment the logical way. I also feel for some of you that now you've, you've graduated college that you know that the loan payments are going to have to start kicking in. I'm also feeling that for some of you. So money's going to be tight for most of you. That's the message I'm receiving is that some of you have been good at holding on to your money, but unfortunately money's going to be tight. But you're going to find that balance. You're going to find that balance and you're going to you're going to be able to get that budget and just have faith in yourself. I'm really seeing just have faith in yourself. So, for this empress here, she's reversed. I often see the empress as just being somebody who is rather superficial. She's insecure, she's dependent, and we also have the queen of pinnacles reverse, who's also somebody who's dependent on others. But with this five pinnacles right here being reversed, I can see that you are over this dependency. You, you don't want to be that dependent person and you don't want this over dependent rel person relying on you. And that's really great to see. So I'm going to get a couple of angel oracle romance cards here as clarifiers for the Pisces Aries Cusps first week of July 2017. We're going to pull one for singles and one for those in a relationship. Now this is a new layout that I've created for these breakdown readings. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, um, feel free to check out my website. I do offer private readings. All right, so we have the singles. Ooh, those of you in a relationship, it looks like things are off balance for you. So I'm feeling, you know, because we do have cards not necessarily wanting to come out that you just really... Yeah, so for you, those of you that are in a relationship, calling in your soulmate, you just don't feel like this person you're with is matching your energy right now at all. Two different paths, and you're and you you're looking to get back on the same path. You're not necessarily feeling wanting to end it. You're just tired of being on different wavelengths. You want to get back on the same wavelength. You want to be able to budget. Um, and you don't want finances to be that constant way down. You want to be able to work with the person and m make sure that you're working together to get your, your finances in order. For those that you are single, don't make any snap decisions on committing into a relationship you're worth waiting for. Perhaps you're interested in somebody who's been um, playing hard to get. Well, that person must be worth waiting for. So it does sound like you guys have a couple of great um, weeks ahead of you. And um, looks like you're getting ready to get yourself back on balance here with the finances. So that's awesome. That's really good to see. All right. Up next will be Aries 1. And that's the week of the child, March 25th through April 12th. All right, Aries 1, March 25th through April 2nd. March 25th through April 2nd. If 
you are an Aries born during that week, that is the week of the child. like you guys have a crazy week ahead of you a crazy week excuse me two weeks okay so what I'm hearing is that the first week of July is going to be a little crazy for you but things will calm down so that is good overall energy justice opportunities seven of wands reverse obstacles the devil finances the nine of coins that's good to see and love the five of swords so we did have the lovers jump out by itself so what I'm feeling here is there are those of you who are have been tired of the unbalance, tired of, of what has been going on in your relationship, the arguing, the just not, the general not getting along, not being on that same wavelength. You're, you're over it. You're over fighting. You're ready for the balance. You just feel trapped, feel trapped, feel trapped. And again, I'm, you know, I feel like there, in this case, there are some of you looking to exit this relationship. Don't make any hasty decisions. You made a commitment for a reason. If you're married, you've made this commitment. If you're single, different, completely coming from a different point of view. But it does look like there's been a lot of you that are in relationships. And this isn't just about marriage. Um boyfriend, girlfriend, live-ins. This can also be uh, business partners, co-workers, family members. It's There is somebody that you are in a relationship with and you're just ready for that balance. You know, you're, you're feeling trapped, but I feel like there is some good news here because financially you're going to be able to move forward. There isn't any... Gosh, there's just no victories coming from any of the arguments you're having. You're still left alone while the other walks away. But it's good to see that you're ready for it to stop. You're definitely ready for it to stop. So that's, that's a good thing to see. Okay, so we're going to pull two love cards to go with this. One for the single Aries that are born between... March 25th and April 2nd. And then one for Aries that are in a relationship. All right, single Aries, March 25th through April 2nd born. Information for the first two weeks of July 2017. Singles. relationship again this could reflect this relationship that's being spoken about so it's not necessarily with a romantic partner very interesting so the last group of Aries received this card as well Okay. For relationship, what I'm feeling is that this is about new engagements, about those of you that have been on a, a downward spiral in your relationship. I do feel like things are moving up. This does have different meanings depending on what cards they're with. So I do think, feel as though things are changing in those of you that are in a committed relationship and that things are going to move up for you, that you are going to improve your relationship 
Now that's either by leaving or by going to therapy and staying. Because either way is an improvement if all of the arguing is done. Now, for those of you that are single, looks like you do have somebody in mind. So if you have been interested in somebody, it's time to ask them out on a date. Now, if this is referring to a business partner, I'm, I'm feeling you owe them a, an apology. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You fucked up. You owe them an apology. Um, if you recently broke up, it was definitely something you did. You owe them an apology. You know, we're not perfect. You're not expected to be perfect. At least I don't expect you to be perfect. So self-respect by apologizing to those that you've hurt. All right? Respect them and respect yourself by owning up to your mistakes. Might not make everything better immediately, but in the long run, it's always the right thing to do. All right. Next up is Aries 2. And that's for you, those of you Aries born April 3rd through April 10th. All right. Switch things around a little bit here, hoping that there's less of a shadow. So we're going to do Aries 2, April 3rd through April 10th. General energy reading for the first two weeks of July. 2017. Those of you born April 3rd through April 10th were born in the week of the star. The overall energy, opportunities, obstacles, finance, and love. Very interesting. So there's a lot of you Aries that are feeling the same thing right now. We have the Empress and the Ten of Cups again. Now, the Empress was reversed for the Pisces Aries Cuspers, uh, just like it is now. But now we have that... Ten of Cups reversed, and that is in the love position. So the overall energy is about rising to the occasion. We have the Judgment card, and with it being here for your opportunities with the Wheel of Fortune, I just really feel like you're having the opportunity to rise to the occasion, and that things are being presented so you can turn things around. It's not going to be easy. Obstacles, the moon reverse, you know, you are needing to find that balance. You are needing to um, get that groove back. But you, the opportunity is being presented to you. So that is great to see. Finances, not where you want them. Just not where you want them. Um, love life, not where you want that. So we have been seeing a little bit of a trend here with all of you Aries that the love life just isn't where you're at. There has been difficulties and, you know, I always say you've made a, a commitment if you're in a marriage. Work on that commitment. I think that that's the best thing that you can do for yourself so you don't ever look back and wonder if. If you're not in a completely committed relationship, then you need to really look at the big picture here um, because you haven't made that promise, you know, to have and to hold, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this, again, is not necessarily love life. This could also represent a business partner. In this situation for you Aries 2 birthdays, I really feel as though that this is... Um, about love life. For those of you that are single, it's just not happening. For those of you in a relationship, it's, there's just not any dedication putting, being put there. I don't see that you are putting in any effort. Um, I 
feel like overall the business is so your your financial life and your business life has just been so rough that your relationship life is really lacking because of the business issues but it does look like we have some things turning around you are being presented with an opportunity make sure you are doing the right thing please you know do everything for the greatest good and the highest vibration bring yourself good karma don't generate any negative karma for you guys but that's so awesome that this opportunity is here now remember it's not easy but nothing worth having ever is so we're going to get a couple more clarification cards here one for the single aries twos and one for the aries twos that are in a relationship All right. Okay. I love jumpers. What can I say? And for the relationship, Aries twos. Wow, no jumpers for you guys. This was the one. Yep. All right. <laughs> Wow, so we're seeing some more um, trending here for the Aries. If you have been talking to somebody, it does look like this person could be the person that um, you are meant to make a commit with, commitment with. Don't rush into anything. Perhaps um, I'm hearing, oh God, but I am, I'm hearing... Um, make it exclusive, make it exclusive. So if you want this card, this happiness to turn around for you, it's really time to make it exclusive. I keep hearing make it exclusive. Aww. So it does look like for those of you whose relationship has been down and out, that there is still a loving feeling between the two of you. You know, that's... That's really good to see. Make that effort. Put that effort in. And now I'm hearing counseling, counseling, counseling. Start by talking to each other. If you can't resolve it, you can't figure it out, then seek out professional help. That's what I'm, I'm feeling here for you guys, that you deserve to get this better. Stop focusing so much thing I, I just get the feeling that you feel as though if you can get work right you can get love love right but I just don't think that is you know it's there's no balance you have to give a hundred percent to both ends yeah so if you have been neglecting your partner your partner's been neglecting you it's there there is something still there for you guys so don't give up put some effort into it that's what i'm feeling for you guys all right next up aries 3 april 11 through 18 be right back okay aries 3 that is those of you born April 11th through the 18th, if you're born that week, that is the week of the pioneer. So let's find out what we have for this general energy tarot reading for the first two weeks of July 2017 for Aries 3 birthdays. Aries 3.
overall energy. Oh, oi. Opportunities, obstacles, finances, and love. Oh. Okay. So you guys are just kind of feeling nailed down. <laughs> Overall energy, you just are feeling worn to the out. You just are, God, this 10. Now I have to remember the pictures moved over, right? Just, oh, you guys. All right. Opportunities. The Knight of Swords. He's charging in. He's ready to go. But he's reversed. You guys are just feeling so worn out. You're just not ready to seize the day at all. You're just, you're not ready to seize those opportunities. You're not ready to grab them up and, and get where you need to go. You know, it looks like more obstacles here. It's just, uh, there's somebody here that is just acting crazy as shit and you just don't even know you in love you just want to put it down there's been fighting there's been arguing second time by the way Aries that this card has come up it's just you know you guys just aren't feeling it these next couple weeks here you're just not you're not feeling it. So what am I going to suggest? Get off your ass and make things the way they should be. You make your life. Your reaction is only controlled by you. Your devotion is only controlled by you. Be devoted to yourself. Don't let yourself feel so way down and, and hurt and angry and just don't let your guy just don't let yourself feel that way just don't you know light in the dark it's always darkest before dawn all of those cheesy things you hear they're true they are true all right we're going to pull a romance card for singles and for those in a relationship for aries 3 First two weeks of July 2017. Aries 3 are born April 11th through the 18th. Interesting that singles got that one. It's my only... Which one of you was wanting to come out? It's got to be that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're feeling like you want to free yourself? Bam. You know, you're trapped. You're fighting. You know, you're, fi you're fighting to keep your money organized. You're fighting to keep your job organized. You're dealing with people just losing their shit all around you, and you're worn out. You want to stop. Looks like you need, in love, you need to free yourself. Take a couple days to yourself. Go get a massage. If you can't get a couple days, get that hour for massage. Just go get your me time. Go get your me time. Now, don't freak out, single Aries, when you see this card. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. What this means is there's somebody who is conventional and wants things taken balanced and in their view of balance, their view of whatever. This is not telling you to go to church. This is not going to tell you to quit church. This is not telling you to, it's not specifically about church. Okay, so don't freak out. 
what I'm seeing here is that this person, this out of control person is just wanting to force you to do things their way. And you're about ready to roll over and do it because you don't want to fight. You don't want all that pain, that struggle, that heartache. You love yourself, so you're not going to roll over. You're going to fight. You're Aries. You're a fire sign. You're a fighter. All right? So just remember, if you're in a situation you don't want to be in, walk away. Clear your head and then make your decision. Don't let anybody force you to make a decision right away, but don't procrastinate on the decision either. All right, next up. Aries Taurus cusps. So those, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> those are for those of you Aries that are born April 19th through the 24th. You are an Aries, Aries Taurus cup. Yeah, I can say that 10 times fast. I can't even say it one time. Hello. So this is also going to be for um, Taurus because that begins April 21st. So if you're born end of Aries, beginning of um, Taurus, you do overlap and have an Aries Taurus cusp. Hi, okay, so this is a general energy tarot card reading for the first two weeks of July. This is for those of you that are born on the Aries Taurus cusp. That's April 19th through the 24th. This portion of the video is available on both the Aries and the Taurus videos. Taurus videos. And I have officially decided that saying Aries and Taurus together is hard. Okay, so general energy week reading for the first two weeks of July 2017 for Aries, Taurus, Tor oh my God, Aries, Taurus cusps. Those born April 19th through the 24th. Looks like you guys have some jumpy energy coming for these couple of weeks. Overall energy, uh, opportunities, obstacles, finances, and love. So the overall all energy here is that you are ready to be fulfilled. You are ready to take those eight cups there and fill them full. You're ready to find your destination, ready to find what it is that you need. And it does appear as though in the next couple of weeks, you are going to have that opportunity. We are looking at a full cup here. You want to fill eight, but remember, you can only fill those cups one at a time. You can only fill them at, you know, full of love and happiness one at a time. So, 10 of cups in obstacles. That is very interesting to me that that would be an obstacle. We're going to get some clarifiers on that. Nope, from here. Okay, because the Ten of Cups is a fulfillment card. It's happy. It's having everything that you need. But it looks like that even though you have everything you need, you are still looking to be in Hermitville. You're not paying attention to what's going on. You're distracted possibly with yourself. 
just, you know, admiring that what that's really what I'm feeling from this page right now. Just admiring what you have going on, admiring yourself, admiring your, I'm, I'm hearing the word vain, 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 looking in a mirror. You're not looking at the fact that that fulfillment is all around you, that you have a loving and supporting family that wants to take care of you, that feels like they need to take care of you. And I just feel like you guys just aren't wanting to see that right now. So finances. Well, there's no celebration for you. Things aren't going very well in the finances department. I hate to see that. I don't want anyone to ever financially struggle. That is always hard. You do have support. You do have love. You do have that around you. Wake up and look at it. Wake up and see it. See that everybody around you wants to help you fill, fill, fill up your cup and be replenished. You have people that want to help you start over, that want to help you move forward. You have that in your life. You just, you need to see it. You need to understand that it's real. That being said, in relationships, which aren't necessarily your significant other, if this can be at work, if this can be at school, or a friend, you are being warned to be careful who you trust. You have, I'm feeling a strong family, strong connection, whether it's with a sibling or a parent or all. Grandparent, cousin, you have that there. You have a support system. Don't go to the wrong person. You know, be careful who you're, who you're talking to. They're sitting there smiling and then repeating everything you said and putting a twist on it. So you do want to watch that. I also see these two pages together as just being single-minded. They're just really not seeing the whole picture. And that's what I feel, you know, because for um, love, this can be for singles or for those of you in a relationship. And I feel like if you are in a relationship, you're being too single-minded and you're not seeing the whole picture here, that whole happy ending Pretty bunch shit picture. You're not seeing it. For those of you that are single, I'm feeling that you need to be careful. You're obviously associating with the wrong people. And you need to go back home. Stop singling yourself out away from your family. You need to reconnect with your family here. I'm really feeling strong about that from my guides. You need to stop partying and stop hanging out with the wrong people and you risk just really 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 need to reconnect with that so we're going to pull two romance cards one for singles one for those in a relationship for the aries taurus cusp birthdays april 19th the 24th all right Aries Taurus Cusp singles for the first two weeks of July 2017 Aries Taurus Cusp relationships for the first two weeks Nope. Of July 2017. Yeah, the jumper. Oh, so it looks like you are, a few of you here are finding a new relationship. And if you're already in a relationship, you are rekindling that relationship. So that's really good to see because it does look like you have been singling yourself out from your family. So I'm really feeling at, like this is talking about rekindling what you know we're going home seeing your mom and knowing that there's nobody in the world that loves you more than your mother i'm feeling like there's a lot of you for that now that doesn't mean your birth mother it could be your sister it could be your stepmom it could be your grandma but um that's what i heard is there's nobody that loves you more in the world than this specific person and 
so you are not able to see that. Now, singles. Oikes. Okay, so this person that you've been interested, they're a no. They are a no. So don't be a stalker. Back off. Lick your wounds and head back out. Find a new one. Well, thank you, Aries, for watching. And thank you, Taurus, for staying tuned. If you would like a personal reading, the information is below. Mm -hmm.